Okay, YouTubers, this is Jay from Italian TV. Another quick game of Interplanetary I Spy for you space detectives out there. Now, this is uh, a really interesting set of images, this one. And this really recent, these, these only came out a few days back. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, Sol 2790. And this is the main image, but really you need to look through the whole set because there's so many things here that uh, this could keep you happy for a whole week. I mean, there's there's debris and artifacts, things like um, carvings and stuff all over the place. And I'm only gonna touch on it today and I may come back to it because there's so much here. I've got a gigapan up here as well for you to have a look at. This is a really nice one by uh, Terraform Mars, Neil Spence. Lovely. And the main thing we're looking at today is this, but there's a load of other things around it. Uh, this is a statue, a small carved statue head that looks like it was part of a wall or a piece of architecture and the whole area when you zoom out i'll show you where to look this is the is a kind of triangle shape here um it's going close this is a little dark um but you can see that it's got it's got two eyes a nose ridge coming down here and a mouth here and the face kind of, kind of sticks out to the left but it was probably attached to something because we've got a very straight edge here and a very straight edge here at the top, okay? So that was probably part of a structure, a piece of architecture. Maybe a column it was attached to or a wall. Um, maybe it was, uh, it was outside a bit of the building. Now, I actually think that a lot of this stuff here, as with many of these buttes on Mars, these are bits of broken architecture and these big mounds or buttes sticking up are actually buildings that are completely ruined and covered in sand and crap and uh, they've been smashed to pieces sand has drifted up against them and much of the, the masonry was probably up here and has fallen down the side of the mound which is now a mound and is now just lying in a debris field now the cool thing about this is is that most of the things I've found are all in a row which means this central area here, um, there's loads of stuff all over this, but the, the, the part we're looking at today is this part here. You've got this big rock in the middle here, and you want to look to the, to the right and to the left of it. And there's a whole bunch of things which I'm going to show you. Now, I've, I've made my own gigapan of this, which is a bit uh, it's completely raw, and I've done a brighter one as well, and I've got it up here. Now, before I show you that, um, I'll show you the clips I've got first to show you what to look for and then you can take it from there. Now the first thing I found, one of the first things I found was this. Okay. Now this is raw on the left and enhanced on the right. You don't have to do a lot to this to enhance it, just brighten it up quite a lot and it will come out. These images are quite dark. and. Uh, depending on which way they're facing these things, the shadows can hide a lot of stuff. Unfortunately with this one, it's almost in complete shadow because the, the sun's behind it. So, and slightly to the left. Uh, but when you brighten it, you can see it pretty clearly and I've color filtered it as well here. You can see that a nice kind of ridge, strange kind of nose coming down here as if this thing is wearing a helmet or, or some headgear. This person looks female to me. Uh, could, I could be wrong, but it's got rather serene kind of female features. You can see the lips quite clearly there. A thin, narrow nose or, or um, sort of ridge coming right up to the forehead. And two eyes. And quite a nice shape to the face. And like I said, we've got a very a straight angle or straight edge here at the back with a quite a triangular part to it here and a straight top to it and it looks like it was joined to something and it split away and broken. Like many of the things we see on Mars, they're smashed and broken. There were a couple of other things. Um, not far from here, further over to the left of the Gigapan, on the left-hand side, was this, which is a plant, a plant fossil, which is pretty cool because unlike a lot of the other ones I've found, this one is much clearer because it has a quite a well-defined stem here. If we look here look, uh, on the left, we can see that the stem splits away there into, into, into different limbs coming up, up to here, right? It's a plant, fossilized plant. Now, 
On Earth, uh, there are many ancient buildings that have fossils in the rock that they use to build the structures with. Because obviously the stone, these fossils probably go back millions of years. And then the, the, the stone was quarried in the quarry, or locally. And then things like pyramids were built using local sandstone or local rock, various different types of stone, mainly sandstone. Uh, and often they would have fossils in, uh, marine fossils or plant fossils or other things like that. You find this with a lot of ancient buildings that are made of stone, and I would expect the same on Mars. Uh, so this may have been part of one of these structures or part of the main structure of this butte, which was probably a building of some sort. Okay, So that's not uncommon on Earth, and I would imagine the same would happen on Mars. So uh, you can see in the negative there, I, I've, I've flipped it, and you can see that stem a lot more clearly here, let's zoom in. See that? You've got a thick stem splitting off into three limbs, which then split off into separate limbs after that. So we've got one, two, and three. So that is a plant. Uh, pretty indisputable, I would say. Um, pretty obvious to me. Uh, there are other examples I've found, but not many. I, I would have thought to have found more, really, over time. The amount of time I've been doing this, I haven't found that many. Uh, so there we are and it's got these weird things in the rock here as well I don't know what they are it's probably just natural very strange but uh, this may have been part like I said could have been part of the architecture and uh, it just happened to have been a, a plant fossil already embedded in the rock before it was quarried there was this thing which may or may not be a carved head here but it's very eroded and broken and if I show the, the enhanced clip there, I'll zoom in. We've got a nose here, what looks like a mouth and a chin coming down. But it's all kind of split off and the, the, this bit's broken off. We seem to have an eye here and an eye here. But that may be an optical trick. But the point is with these is they're all in a row. And when you have a, actual statues, you've got to look at the rocks around either side of it. And often you'll find they are in, in rows. I've done many videos about statues on Mars so far, and often they are in rows of four or five or three, um, sometimes more, um, and some are in better shape than others, depending on which way they're facing and how eroded they are and broken. So some of these things are really poorly uh, or very heavily eroded, I should say. What I've done here is I've done my own half gigapan because there's so many images in this set, that it, it, it gets very, very large when you stitch them all together, so I cropped it. And what I've done is I've, I've just outlined the things that I found. R right in the middle here is the priestess, I've called her, priestess statue. There we are. This has been brightened, by the way, so you can see it a bit more clearly. So there's the main one, but there's a whole row of things here, and some of these things are very odd. But there is another head, that, that head I showed you a minute ago, just here. So that's in the same row, okay? It's the other stuff. Um, let's make this a bit smaller. And I'll just point out what I think it is. There's a nose here. There's an eye here. There's another eye here. And a mouth here. And the chin comes down here. Lovely shape, but it's all kind of, it's got these striations going across it. This has been eroded by wind and is smashed. We go up here, we've got the brow ridge, but then it's kind of broken here. And then it comes around like this, okay? Elongated head, like many of these things have. But there's lots of damage here, so there's a, a chunk of it missing here. Okay, and perhaps a bit missing here as well. It, it's not in great shape. So, unfortunately that one isn't amazingly good, but it does look like a head. And um, some of these are very eroded. Now this one here I'm not sure about. There's another one in the same row, so if I zoom out, you can see we've got something up here. We've got the, uh, the priestess, we've got that weird fossil looking thing. Then there's that head I just showed you. And there's another one in the same row. So what I think this is, this line depicts a boundary wall or the outer part of the building where the statues probably were attached. There would have been a, a perimeter wall or some kind of perimeter structure, maybe an entrance or something but at least the wall of some sort, or perhaps co small columns. And these things were on top. Then there was probably a row of statues along here. 
on top of the perimeter wall or in front of it, attached to it. This is the top of the building at the top here. And I think the building would have come down like this. Okay. And there would have been the front of the building here with a wall here. Perhaps coming right across to here, actually. It may have continued round like a wall. This is the remains of the top part of the building. There may, this may have gone higher. There may have been columns on top of this up here, which have now all collapsed down, okay? Uh, a bit like the, the Parthenon in Greece or something like that, but nowhere near that size, much smaller. And there would have been different chambers inside this building, but what we're seeing is an outer part of the wall. And down at the bottom here, the bottom of the ridge, would have been a, a walkway or something like that, and, and this may have been surrounded by water at some point as well. A lot of these buttes would have been isolated with lake water, because the lake at some point was much higher. Now, of course, I don't know what level the lake was when these things were built, and obviously the lake has dried out now, largely, and there's a very little water left. Um, but basically, this may have been the dock area, or near the dock area, and there may be water at the bottom here, and a lot of these buttes would have been sticking up out of the water at some stage, like islands almost. And there are temples and buildings on these, these little islands, some of them, and some of them have burials in, some of them were possibly uh, religious buildings, that kind of thing, some of them were possibly government buildings. This is why we have so much statuary and, and broken statues everywhere, because they were lined up. We've got one here, one here, there's at least two statues here, um, possibly three or four. Uh, there's probably more in here I haven't even spotted. But basically, I think this was a building here, right? With possible columns on top, which are now gone. And a, 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 an exterior wall here where the, the statues were, and perhaps another platform coming down, almost like a step pyramid, like this, okay? So you've got the top, you've got a step here, and another step here in in sort of layers, right? So we got different levels, and I think a lot of these buttes were kind of step, similar to step pyramids, or what I would call ziggurats, kind of small, quite short ziggurats, only 30 or 40 feet tall. Now, of course, if you measure these um, buttes, most of them are around 15 or 20, or some are 30 or 40 feet. So they vary in size, but I think with a lot of them, we're only seeing the top half, or a third, and they may go down right into the ground, much deeper, uh, but it's all been filled in with sand and rubble, okay? So they're buried. So I hope that kind of explains what I'm trying to get to. It's a bit hard to get across when it, with these images. Um, and this one is a bit difficult because it's so large. Um, there's lots and lots of things to see here. And basically, some of these are statues. I'll put clips of all these in, in a minute for you to have a proper look at, and you can take clips and close-ups and stuff yourself and take screenshots. Here we are. Totally different style, smooth. This is much more like an Egyptian style in my, in my opinion. It's got that kind of serenity to it. It's got that um, uh, modern quasi-alien facial feature look to it as well, which is very nice. It's, it's, it's quite beautiful. Um, really stunning, actually. It's simple. It's quite small, this is not very large. I would say this is only about five inches, possibly six or seven, it could be only four. Don't know exactly, but it doesn't really matter. The fact is, a statue is a statue, whether it's four inches or four feet, okay? Part of a statue or a carving attached to a building, either a pillar or a wall or on a wall or by an entrance, something like that, like we have sphinxes and and gargoyles outside some of our religious buildings. As I've said many times before, I think a lot of these buttes are actually huge structures. Some of them are, are massive. And that would explain we, why we have one, two, three, three statues in a row here. This may be nothing to do with it. it looks like a fossil of some sort. Um, but some of these things are so eroded and, and broken, it's almost impossible to tell what they are. And this looks like a broken part of one as well here in the same row as the others, but it's so broken, this looks like a top part of a head here. We've got a nose coming down and what look like eye sockets here. One there and one there.
but it's it's very unsophisticated and it may just be an optical trick. Um, there's so much to see here. Um, you could really be looking at these bits of debris and, and uh, art and, and architecture for, for weeks and weeks and you still wouldn't find everything. And uh, you can't really expect to understand what all these things are because some of them just look very, very odd and most of them are probably just bits of masonry, uh, masonry that were attached to the building. We've also got some weird things down here. We've got this little thing which looks like it's part of a wall with these interlocking polygonal shaped rocks here that all kind of joined like you would get on a sort of Inca or Aztec structure. Okay, that was interesting. These are all interlocking. And uh, look, this looks like architecture to me, heavily eroded of course. But like, like in South and Central America, um, what, what may have happened is there may have been a very advanced civilization earlier on which left or had a famine or war or something and then a, a, a perhaps was replaced by a less advanced um, civilization, a bit like the Incas when they replaced them. There was a previous civilization to the Incas, pre-Inca in South America and Peru. And you can see the older stonework is much bigger and more sophisticated and smooth, like with the priestess here. And then you have later building on top of that, where the Incas moved in, and the stonework is like this here, and the statues are much more crude and that kind of thing. So often a lesser advanced civilization will replace a more advanced one if there's a cataclysm or disaster or something like that. We also also got this thing. I uh, don't know what it represents, but it's got these two big kind of blobs on it. This is reminiscent of some of the things you would see in the Central and South America as well. These mysterious stone blocks with, with big nodules and, and nodes on them and, and kind of things sticking out and no one has really ever been able to figure them out properly. It's still a major mystery to many people. And there, there's, there's loads and loads of stuff here. I, I'm not going to go on all day with this. Um, there's this little triangular thing here, pyramidal shaped sort of rock, which may be a bit of architecture just here. But it's pretty small, it's only a few inches and it's heavily eroded, who knows? But like I said, I'm going to leave you guys to check the gigapan out because there's tons of stuff to see here. And the place to look for, for the heads, like I said, the main one, the priestess in this is very dark. You're going to need to brighten this a lot. Um, so I'll zoom out and give you a location. We've got this diagonal rock here. There's another leaning rock there. That big fossil looking rock there. So it's between those. We've got another leaning rock that way. So we've got sort of a, four main rocks and it's in the middle of those. I'll zoom right out and you can see you've got the, t the main part of the ridge at the top. So go to the center of the main part of the ridge and then straight down to the middle of the image and it's there, just to the right here, okay? So that's where you find it. I hope you're all safe out there and well. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already.